Hi, uh, welcome everyone. Welcome to the webinar session on uh, SolidWorks PCB Connector. I would be Ash and I am the Electrical and Electronics Product Specialist for NTCAD. So for today's case, I've selected SolidWorks PCB as a software to create my PCB board and the PCB connector to be connecting it to the SolidWorks CAD package. In real life, it's really difficult for people to select what shape, what dimension and what kind of a board is actually required in their design. So SOLIDWORKS PCB connector really solves that problem. So if you see here, this is a SOLIDWORKS PCB software. This is a schematic drawing that is being drawn with this software. And the PCB board is being updated based on the schematic drawing that we already have. Now, once the board here has been designed, the electronic engineer can place components and route just like it is being done here and can go on to the SOLIDWORKS PCB connector and push this board design into the default repository, which I mean the online network server where all your design is being linked to. Here, this is an example. So here I can type in any description that I want and once I click on post, it goes on to the centrally linked server that stores my design. Now, once the design is being pushed, I go on to my CAD package. Here, the mechanical guys can pull board, pull the board from the existing PCB design. And once he gets that board, he can save them as an assembly. That's okay. So each and every time you pull in a board or push a board, it has to be saved in as an assembly in SOLIDWORKS so that SOLIDWORKS knows what it is dealing with. Only the design information is passed between the two softwares. So this design, if you see, the board layout has been taken from the electronics PCB software or Altium in, this, in, in, in your case. And it's also given me all the 3D model of different components that are being placed in different positions. Here, the mechanical guy thinks, okay, the board shape is fine, but the component is supposed to be here and this to be moved here. He moves those components there and he goes back to the PCB connector and pushes this design. This will suit. This will be a nice design and he posts it. Once he posts it, this again goes to the default repository and coming back here, since my project is already open, I can see there are some changes. View those changes and the board outline has not changed. LED has been moved somewhere and CN1US has been moved. I accept them all and accept. So the design of my PCB board has been changed again. Now. In this case, the electronic guy has the upper hand while the PCB guys are being shifted over to how the mechanical guys want them. In some other cases, the mechanical guys have to specify their project board shape also. In this case, let me open up an assembly that is already here. So it is of the same project. So in this case, we'll delete the existing board that we have. Now, the mechanical guy already has an enclosure. In this case, in this case, he also has something called a board profile drawn to it. Now, what we can do is clicking on the PCB board, PCB connector, I have this new board option clicking on the new board option, select the project. So it already goes and link, gets linked to the same project again. Okay. And again, I'm creating an assembly, save. I'll overwrite this assembly. I'm trying to show you how the difference between the assembly created here does not affect the changes in our electronic software. So if you see now our assembly for our board is being created. It is an information less square board. Now, going up to my existing assembly here, 
we will bring in our PCB boards assembly, SD card USB, which is a project's name and the assembly name also for the PCB board. And we'll put them somewhere here. Now, once that is done, the board is to be metered to the exact coordinates so that the mechanical guys know where the board goes into. We'll meet that there. And yeah, we have a board being put in a specific place. Now, we want this board to be of this shape. For guys who already have used uh, SOLIDWORKS CAD package, will know this feature, which is the convert entities. Here, what I would be doing is editing my sketch. So basically, the board is a simple sketch. You change the dimension of the sketch. It changes to anything that you want. So we'll select the board profile, convert the entities of our board profile to this existing sketch. Okay, so now our board is being put there. We'll delete these sketches. We don't want this anymore. So the board material and the board properties are put here with the sketch that we want. Exit our sketch. Our PCB board is being displayed here. We'll exit this assembly. Minimize that. Opening up our SD card. Our PCB board has been changed. SD card USB. Now, this way, the mechanical guys pushes the board profile. Board profile for you to use. And post that. Going up to my electronic design, if you see, my board here never changes. If I click on PCB connector, there is a new board profile. I don't want it to be updated here. So rather what we'll do is, we shall create a new PCB board this way. And I will accept this changes. So the board profile changes. Pink is what we'll be having. The Everything else other than that will disappear. Click on that and accept. Now we have our board being updated here. Now the electronic guys can select the different changes from, okay, sorry about that. We have to save that to get updated into our project. Save. And now the electronic guys can import the design from your schematic drawing. In our case, I'll just take a few components so that it's easier for us to understand. We shall disable selected. So disable all. And going down, I'll take in CM1S. 1S. LED1 and LED2. So the stuff that I'm trying to take are really big and easy to understand so that we don't get confused with how the design works. So once we take up the required components, executing our changes and close them, we get all our design changes here. Put the board LEDs here. And let this be here. And this one over here again. So here I can have a 3D representation of how my, how my whole board looks like. 2D. And again from this push. I'll check the board now. And post that again. So once that is done, again it goes into the mechanical CAD package. We'll close all the existing. Sorry. I have them minimized for now so that we don't get confused. I'll open up the PCB board. So you can see there is change here. New changes. Pretty much accept everything. I don't want to see what is there. And then the board gets updated. So this way, the if you can see here, the holes have also been updated because this is a through hole component and stuff like that. This way, there is a real collaboration between the electronic guys and the mechanical guys and they need not do anything physically or the number of prototypes created for the board in the real life and to be put them into our uh, enclosure can be avoided.